Hi everyone, happy Thursday, happy Veterans Day. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2021 Tops Triple Threads Baseball. Nine box, pick your team number seven. An inner case from a fresh master case right here. We're gonna see which one, which inner case we're gonna do in just a second. Let me just show you the list once uh, right here. So here on the 11th, thanks everybody for getting in. Most of the teams were picked up straight up, which I appreciate. Mark ended up with last spot mojo. That's why he has a little star next to his name with the Mariners. And there were some teams pulled for that random number block. And here are the results of that. That's, the randomizer was in a different video. So you get a block of numbers for that group of teams right there for Pick Your Team 7. Thank you. That next to me right over here. We'll get the bell ready for any potential monster hits. And now, let's see which inner case we're gonna do. So, I'm gonna slide these inner cases out, but I just wanted to mark that top inner case as A, and the bottom inner case is B. All right, and we're gonna select a die. We're gonna select it, that Dodger blue die right here. And we'll go one, two, three for the top case and four, five, six for the bottom case. And it's two, top case. So this bottom case, we'll save for next time. And this is the last inner case we have for the time being, for now. We may get some more on jazbeescasebreaks.com, but for tonight, I have no more to post after this one's done. 10 teams left on this. Uh, when we started the video. Kind of dented a little bit here in this case. I don't think that's gonna, hopefully doesn't affect the boxes. No, looks like we're good. Three boxes there, three boxes here, three boxes there to make nine. All right, do I have enough supplies for this break? I hope so. Maybe. That should be should be enough. Figure out. And we'll do the randomizer for the non-numbered base cards at the end too, along with any other possible randomizers. If there's maybe a triple relic, triple auto with three different teams on there. All right. Good luck. No, that's a that's a different mark. Mark S. Has the uh, has the Mariners? Andrew McCutcheon, 143 out of 150. You Darvish, 199. Got Lou Gehrig to 125. And Derek Jeter, 113 out of 150.
here are your base cards here. And if any of those, and if any of these cards were numbered that go to the number block team, our sorting and shipping team will be able to, to separate those out. So don't worry about that. Behind Rhino is Trevor Story. Hard hit and velo. 11 out of 27. Where does he end up? I think he's a free agent. Any guesses? This is still Rocky's edition, though. This will go to Carlos. Behind Rhino is Lourdes Guriel Jr. Jersey and autograph, 40 out of 50 for the Blue Jays. That's a number block team, so that goes to Blue Jays 0. And that's going to be for Logan. So if you're wondering how the number blocks work, it goes to that digit right there, directly to the left of the slash. Behind Will the Thrill is a triple relic, triple auto. All Dodgers. All Dodger Joe Mojo. There's Walker Bueller, Gavin Lux, and Corey Seager. Where does Corey Seager end up? I think the Yankees are pushing hard for Corey Seager. I know the Dodgers would love to retain him too. And that goes to Mark S. Picked up my Dodgers straight up. That's 7 out of 27. Congrats. Dodger Joe Mojo. All right, behind Will Clark is single jumbo relic, Jeff McNeil. Piece of his jersey, two out of 36, going to Joe Ivers and the Metropolitans. All right, and that was just the first box. Next box. Good start. Hopefully this trend continues. Justin Verlander to 299. Ozzie Smith to 50. <laughs> right, that wasn't a train whistle bell. It was just a I got excited bell. I like that hit kind of bell. Otani to 299. And Willie Mays Hayes. <laughs> Not Willie Mays Hayes, but just Willie Mays. Willie Mays Hayes is someone else. How you doing? How you doing? My man. Got a triple relic, all red legs, Barry Larkin, Ken Griffey Jr., and Joey Votto, 21 out of 36. That's for Chris Walker and the Reds. You may run like Mays, but you hit like... Another Lourdes Goriel Jr., jersey and autograph, different number though, 67 out of 75. So that goes to Toronto 7, Brian Crouch. Joey Votto and another Joey Votto right here. And we've got a Ryan Mountcastle, triple relic and autograph, 13 out of 25. That's for the O's, Logan M picked up the Orioles straight up. Nice. Is Ryan Mountcastle? No, I thought he might have been a uh, a Rookie of the Year finalist, but no. It's Randy Arozarena, Wander Franco, and Luis Garcia for the Astros are your are your uh, AL Rookie of the Year finalists. There's Miggy, forty-seven out of forty-eight. That'll be for Carlos and the Tigers. Third box. 
Your NL Rookie of the Year finalists, Dylan Carlson, Jonathan India, and Trevor Rogers. Um, I think Vegas has Jonathan India as a pretty uh, as a pretty big favorite for NL Rookie of the Year. Manager of the Year, Brewers, Craig Council, Gabe Kapler for the Giants, and Mike Schilt for the Cardinals. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny if Mike Schilt, who got let go by the Cardinals, um, got fired if... Uh, he ends up being manager of the year. Your AL manager of the year, Dusty Baker, Kevin Cash for the Rays, Scott Service for the Mariners are your finalists. Clayton Kershaw, 299. Bellinger to 199, his teammate. You got the Sultan of Swat, 65 out of 99 for the Yankees. And Willie Mays, 74 out of 199. Andrew Vaughn, Altuve, Altuve, and I grabbed a hit. And it's Sixto Sanchez. Are there three here then? Sixto Sanchez, triple relic and autograph, three out of 50. We may have a bonus hit. Thanks, Tops. Uh, Miami's a number block team, so that goes to three out of 50. Miami three. Brian Crouch. And we got a Kyle Lewis, 27 out of 36. That's Mark S. with the Mariners. Seattle Mariners, last spot mojo. 70% of the time it hits 100% of the time. And our bonus hit is another single jumbo relic, this time for the Rays, seven out of 27, Shane McClanahan. That's for Noel and the Tampa Bay Rays. And on this side, we've got a triple relic some old school guys, Gary Carter, Daryl Strawberry, and Doc Gooden. 16 out of 18. Some old school Mets. Isn't there a 30 for 30 coming up on the Mets? Or is that something else? I think it's the Mets. That'll go to Joe Ivers and the Metropolitans. And back here is Luis Campusano, 119 out of 199 for the Friars, and the Padres are a number block team. So that goes to Padres nine. San Diego nine is Steve H. There you go, Steve. All right, third of the way through. <laughs> right, Logan. It's, uh, it's the 80s. Oh my God. Not Gary Carter, though, right? Although, I don't know. You never know. Pro I mean, maybe. New York in the 80s. I'm sure Gary Carter indulged here and there. Right, Martin's saying Once Upon a Time in Queens is the documentary, right? About those mid 80s Mets. When's that coming out? 166 out of 199, Fernando Tatis Jr. We've got his, his teammate right here, Manny Machado, 18 out of 199. There's Altuve to 259. And for the Mets, Jacob deGrom, 250 out of 259. All right, behind Hassan Kim is a triple relic and autograph, Davey Garcia, 28 out of 99. Don't say why. Oh, because, right. 
I've got a buddy, Harry, from an uh, old college buddy who is from Philadelphia. And uh, if I wanted to make him mad, or if <laughs> all I'd have to do is mention Joe Carter. There's Davey Garcia, Yankees. Mark with the Bronx Bombers. Yain Hassan Kim is a Will Smith, 14 out of 18, the Fresh Prince, going to Mark S. and the Dodgers. Oh, it's out already, the documentary. All right, so maybe I'll have to watch that. On ESPN Plus, probably? Another Hassan Kim revealing a Lindor. Four out of 27. Nice. Piece of his lumber. That might be three pieces of his lumber. They're, these are usually triple relics. This goes to uh, Joe Ivers and the Mets. And then we've got Yerman Mercedes, 12 out of 25 for the White Sox. That's going to be for Mark R. Now, there are a ton of marks. We've got a Mark S, a Mark R in the break. we got Mark with a K, Mark Delara in this break too. And then a Mark B in the chat. On the mark. Xander Bogarts to 150. Bo Sox. Andrew Vaughn to 250. White Sox. Ty Cobb to 299. Tigers. And there's Bryce Harper, 36 out of 75 for the Phillies. And your hits. Let's grab the base cards first. Manny, Nolan, Clayton, and Witt. Behind the wizard is Triple Relic and Autograph, Jim Tomey. 26 out of 27. First ballot. And that will be for Carlos and the Tribe. Second player, second Cleveland player to be elected to the Hall of Fame on the first ballot, following the footsteps of pitcher Bob Feller. It's a pretty good company. That is for Carlos. Cleveland, this is for you. And we've got a DJ LeMayhew. Pinstripe relic for the Yankees, 19 out of 36. It's for uh, Mark S. and the Bronx Bombers. Triple Relic, Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis Jr., and Eric Hosmer. Six out of 27. And that'll be for Padre Six. Goes to Steve H., Padre Six. And a Ramon Laureano, Jersey and Autograph, 36 out of 75. In the heart, Ramon. In the heart. Goes to Mark Delara and the Oakland Athletics. Next box. Cy Young finalists. And in the NL, Corbin Burns, Brewers, Max Scherzer, Dodgers, and Zach Wheeler, Philly. Zach Wheeler did have a great season. AL Cy Young finalists are Garrett Cole, Yankees, Lance Lynn, White Sox, Robbie Ray, Blue Jays. Those guys are pretty good. 
NL MVP finalist Bryce Harper, Juan Soto, Fernando Tatis Jr. That, that could be a close, close one there. And in the AL, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Shohei Otani, and Marcus Simeon. I think Otani's got that one. Vocal cords a little bit. There's Anthony Rendon to 299. There's Otani right there, 26 out of 50. I think Vegas has him as a pretty prohibitive favorite as your AL MVP. There's George Brett to 199. And there's Mariano Rivera to 259. How can Cole be a finalist? I think he, uh, I think he, after the sticky, he, st he did okay. He had a couple rough starts, but I think he bounced back pretty nicely. Yes, I think, yeah, normal start time tomorrow, Hollywood. There's Trey Turner to 36, but I don't know. You never know, so. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Keep the notifications on so you know exactly when we go on air. There's Trey Turner, three out of 36. Uh, Washington, three, Brian Crouch. No, no Ernie Banks yet. There's like a base card, but, but no Ernie Banks hits yet. There's another Ramon Laureano, 33 out of 50, jersey and autograph, athletics, Mark DeLara. Harry's thinking Harper and Otani as your MVPs. Behind Aaron Judge is Dale Murphy. Prime Dale. 26 out of 27. That's for Mark S. and the Bravos. And we have Andrew McCutcheon, 21 out of 27. Mark, uh, that is Mark with the Phillies. So you seeing Harry's name in that spot. All right, the final third of this inner case. Remember, uh, this is Pick Your Team 7. Pick Your Team 8 is our final. Um, is our final inner case for the time being. Third of the case, 24 out of 199, Barry Larkin. Roberto Clemente to 259. Mount Castle to 50. And the professor, Greg Maddox, to 150. You guys see you guys see the old uh, the old video? I forget. Was it was it was it a Red Bull prank or something like that, where Greg Maddox dressed up as like a an audio guy, and Chris Bryant was in the batting cage, and he started like kind of chirping at Chris Bryant, and he was just like, "Who are you? I'm mean, just a sound guy." And then Greg Maddox goes on the goes on the mound and then th throws him some uh, BP and throws him some uh, some breaking stuff, and Chris Bryant was like, "Huh, this guy's pretty good." Two out of nine, Miggy, Miguel Cabrera, Detroit. If you haven't seen it, so it's pretty funny. Was it Red Bull? I don't know what, what the, I guess that's kind of poor advertising because I remember, <laughs> I remember the, 
the bit, but not the not the advertising. Yeah, Rebel remembers that. There was also one with Jared Goff where he dressed up as like a college transfer or something like that and just starts slinging around the uh, the pigskin to a bunch of these uh, Juco kids. Uh, Tigers, Carlos. And Dalton Varsho. 7 out of 10. It's a nice patch, nice autograph. And the Diamondbacks are a number block team, so that goes to Arizona 7. And that'll be for Brian Crouch. Was it Red Bull? Okay, I mean, it was Red Bull. All right, so good job then on <laughs> helping me remember the brand. We've got an Andy Pettit, 3 out of 9, 21 wins. Mark S. with the Bronx Bombers. First of two seasons in which Andy won 21 games was 1996. The only Yankees pitcher ever to collect more victories in a season at the age of 24 or younger was Hall of Famer Lefty Grove with 24 in 1932. Wow. All right, behind Mo is Jordan Alvarez, 21 out of 36. Strohs, Alifonso with Houston. All right, two more boxes to go. Good luck. <laughs> Number block game mean to you, Logan? Is the break over? I didn't know the break was over. the white whale right there you can kind of see the rounded corner there so yeah usually it's it's a uh, although we've seen some some with without the both the triple relic triple auto plus white whale combo but usually each inner case has a triple relic triple auto and a white whale out of 259 anthony rizzo There's Luis Roberts, 299. Ricky Henderson, 259. And Ozzie Smith, 299. All right, there's. Oppo times two, Brand Lau, nine out of 36. Wow, after not belting an opposite field homer in the 2020 regular season, Brand is believed to be the first player to hit two in one World Series contest in game two. Uh, that's for the Rays, Knoll with Tampa Bay. And behind Ricky Anderson is Luis Robert, jersey and autograph. 10 out of 25. Got the bit of the White Sox pinstripe in there too. Mark R with the White Sox. All right, the single jumbo relic Later, is Max Muncy. All right, see you, Jesse. Thanks, man. Ooh, 36 out of 48. And he's fired up right here. He's like, yeah! Yeah! That's for Mark S. and the Dodgers. And the one of one is Bernie Williams. Bernie at his best, triple relic and autograph. There she blows, the white whale 
In his momentous postseason career, Bernie won four World Series championship championships, became the all-time Yankees leader with 22 home runs and 80 RBIs, won the 1996 ALCS MVP award, and hit a walk-off ALCS home run. It's a great postseason career for him. And that is for Mark S., who picked up the Yankees straight up. Congrats. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right. Final box coming up. Thanks, everybody, for getting in, for making this happen. Like I said, pick your team eight is our last inner case for the time being. Anyone picking up teams and pick your team eight? No, still holding at 10. Still holding at 10 teams left. So get your team straight up before they end up in a uh, in some sort of random number block. Some sort of filler. And we got a redemption right here. Tony Gwynn to 99. Buster Posey to 199. Bauer to 150. And Derek Jeter to 199. Nine out of 36, Victor Robles. The thrill of victory. I get it. Nationals are a number block team. So Nationals, Washington nine is gonna be for Jimmy. We got Luis Campusano, 157 out of 199. That's for the Padres. That's going to go to Padres 7. San Diego 7, that's going to be for Brian Crouch. And we got a single Jumbo Relic. 43 out of 48, Aaron Nola. And that, of course, is for the Phillies. That's for Mark S., And the redemption congratulations to someone you are due to receive a base rookies and future phenoms autograph relic card gold parallel that card is gold and it's gonna go to Atlanta yeah, it's Atlanta. Ian Anderson. Braves. And that's for the world champs. Mark has the Atlanta Braves. Got him straight up. Gets the world champions. And there you go, boys and girls. Pretty nice break. We're going to do a recap in just a second. Let me just do the randomizer for the non-numbered uh, the non-numbered base cards. So let's flip back to the list. Let's go to the random number block group here. Let's gather everybody's names. New dice, new list. Let's randomize it. Four and a four, eight times. Eight the hard way. Name on top gets those extra cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Name on top, Steve Herrick. There you go, Steve. 
After eight times, you'll get any of the non-numbered base cards for uh, that group of teams. San Diego, Toronto, Washington, Miami, and Arizona. Quick recap. We saw the Ian Anderson world champion. Pretty solid break, once again. And like I said, we've got our last inner case in the store right now if you want to get in on it. There's Dale Murphy. Jim Tomei. So on and so forth. And of course, we, we had that triple relic, triple auto, little Dodger Joe Mojo as well. That was Pick Your Team 7, brand new, Top Dribble Threads Baseball. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next baseball break. Bye-bye.